my name's Lisa Difford of Fettle and Fable Theatre uh, and I'm here today with Inkonjani the Lightning Bird uh, which follows the swallows migration from South Africa to Yorkshire. It includes lots of myths, stories, music, puppetry, shadow and spectacle. In Conjani, the Lightning Bird includes lots of stories, stories from both South Africa and from Yorkshire. We tell a story called The Competition of Three Birds, which is narrated by a South African storyteller on the soundtrack, and we use a cranky lip from behind to tell the tale. It's really great to be here at Wordfest at Wakefield. It's a brilliant atmosphere, lots of families and people coming down, enjoying stories, theatre, art, exhibitions, even a musical seesaw. Hello, my name's Gemma and I'm working with Stride Theatre this morning and we're doing workshops looking at the adventure of the Gruffalo. But imagine that we can take the Gruffalo out of his normal environment and take him anywhere else in the world and what kind of things that they would explore and find and see. So we've been using storytelling this morning and imagination but being led by the young children and we've asked them to take us around the world and the kind of things that we would see and then throw in some strange things so maybe cups of teas and biscuits on Mars or look for um, dragons and things under the sea. Imagination is crucially important because it can transport us from the place that we are now and in storytelling if we can close our eyes and for a moment pretend to be somewhere else in the world then there are no limitations and we can grow and be as big as we want to be. And with children, their imaginations are huge. And as an adult, I think we just need to remember that we are storytellers with childish hearts. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Claire from Topsy Turvy Theatre. I'm the Artistic Director of Topsy Turvy Theatre. And I'm normally in costume when I do these things, but uh, today's been quite special because I've, I've been able to be in the audience of our Ruby Flu 2 performance at Stanley Library as part of Wakefield Word Fest. We've been helping make words count all week as part of the festival over October half term. Ruby Flu 2 is a story written by Jonathan Emmett and illustrated by Rebecca Harry. If you imagine the ugly duckling, it's a little bit like that, except I find that Ruby Flu 2 is a little bit nicer because it's got more of a, a rounded story. It's about Ruby, who's the fifth egg to hatch from her clutch of five brothers and sisters. Uh, she's the fifth egg to hatch, the last to eat, the last to swim. And mother and father duck are worried if she'll catch up to her brothers and sisters, but Mother Duck, she always knows that she will in her own time. It's been such a pleasure to be part of WordFest again. Second year, well done Wakefield for getting it out again. Second year in a pandemic, congratulations. Thank you for having us. And remember, keep making words count everybody, even in a, in a little tiny way. Word of the day, word of the week, or do a little bit of Macaton signing like we do at Topsy Turvy Theatre. Until we see you again, bye everybody.